job done. Good. Isn't it, isn't it kind of convenient how the good Lord just parted the clouds just for us right here, right now? I'm excited. I'm Chris Crackman. I'm with the Cattle Alliance for Freedom. I'm, I'm the co-founder of Cattle Alliance for Freedom. And uh, we woke up at 4 o'clock this morning to drive all the way down here to tell you a little bit of story about Caddo Parish in the fine city of Shreveport. So I won't keep you long. It's going to be real short if you've ever been to Shreveport. In 2016, our city council and our parish commission or police jury, they passed some land ordinances. And I know y'all are wondering, what does this have to do with everything that's going on right now? Well, just bear with me. Who all's familiar with Agenda 21? Maybe. How about uh, the uh, Paris Climate Accord? Or better yet, how about the Green New Deal? Everybody knows what that is. It's not law. However, we're abiding by it. We're following it. They're trickling it from town to town, from big city to little city, and they're trickling it around. Well, that's what we have in Shreveport and Caddo Parish. We have a unified development code. I knew nothing about it. I'm a welding supply worker. I'm not a politician. I'm not a public speaker. Y'all find that out. I had a complacency bias. Nothing's knocking at my door. Why do I care? Well, slowly but surely, we see our neighbors getting citations for four-wheelers in the driveways, RVs, boats, sportsmen's paradise. They're passing out citations for boats in front of your house. As blight. So what do we do? We put together a group, about five or six people that could get angry enough to go and ask city council, go and ask our police jury, what is going on? We're going to go talk to our planning commission. What is going on? So we go to city council. We say, hey, we don't want y'all's laws. We live out in the parish. We don't want city rules. They said, well, guess what? Too bad. We passed it in 2016. It was 2019. They passed it, didn't tell us, and waited a minute until they started enforcing it. Okay, we got a little more angry. We started a little Facebook page, Cattle Alliance for Freedom. We got a few more people. We go to our planning commission. And what do they tell us? Too damn bad. It's already law. There's nothing you can do about it. We gather up some more people. We take 300 people to our police jury. We get in their face. We say, we've read the law now. You can change it. And what do they tell us? Too bad. It's already law. We can't change it. One commissioner or police jury even said, contact your state legislator. Get them to change the state law. See how that goes. We pounded them and pounded them and pounded them. We grew and grew and grew. We went door to door. We knocked on thousands of doors until our group got up to 4,000 people. We went to our state legislature and he wrote the law. We came down here to state legislator committees. We went to the Senate committees and we all spoke out. This is Democrats and Republicans. We all spoke out and he changed the law. So now 2021, almost two years later, our police jury is forced with our law. Now, we had to go door to door. We had to go reach out to people. We had to make a group. We had to reach out in the press. We had to reach out on Facebook. It wasn't fun. I'm no political act. Well, I wasn't a political activist. How y'all doing? Now I'm a political activist. 
It was not fun. It was a pain in the butt. We had to go door to door in the heat of the summer, the cold of the winter. We went into the worst neighborhoods, the best neighborhoods. It wasn't fun. They tried to ride it out. All they could tell us was go away, go away, go away. And that's what people do. They go away. Until now. Right here, right now. You have to let these people know, whether it be your school board, whether it be your police jury, your parish commission, your city council, let them know you're not going anywhere. They're going to try to ride you out with time. And let me tell you something. If you have a state legislature that's doing your will, get behind them. If Larry Friedman is your guy, put him on your shoulders and carry that man. He's doing a good job. Our state legislator, Danny McCormick, he's doing a good job. We're behind him. We're going to make sure he sticks around. But if you've got one of these marshmallows, one of these soft, wannabe conservatives, get together. Go knock on those doors. Get the flyers. Edmonds, get them out. What you got to do is form a group, start off with five, start off with six, spread the information, and then get together. Go to those meetings in the drove. Make sure that they know they're not doing your will. See, that's the great thing about this great nation. You elect people to be your voice, right? Have they been being your voice? So guess what? Every now and then, a lot more lately now than ever, if they are not doing your will, if they're not doing, if they're not being your voice, tell them what they need to say. If they don't say what you want them to say, get them out! And if you can't get them out, some of you with the cats and flag, some of you in red, white, and blue, replace them! Run for that office! And if you don't feel like you're a good fit, then you definitely are. If you don't feel like you can do the job that well, I promise you, you're the best candidate. Patriotism, I have come to find in just a few short years, is about getting out of your comfort zone, getting in somebody's face, going to your venue that you pay for, and let them know they're not doing your will. They need to find a better hobby. And I'm not advocating getting in somebody's face and being violent. I'm advocating you to tell them their job. If they say they can't do it, they're lying. Now, now we have private property rights being infringed on. Now we have medical autonomy being infringed on. We have all of these different groups. We have the Save Our Schools. We have the LA Patriots. We have all these unmasked groups. There are hundreds of thousands of people that are ready to get in somebody's face and tell them they're doing a crappy job. Find the leaders of those groups and get them in office. Because 63 Republicans that won't get together, they got to go. It should have been handled already. But guess what? We all had a complacency bias. Just like everybody else. Like I said, I'm a welding supply worker. What, what do I have? What business do I have reading city charters? Reading the Louisiana State Constitution? Reading land rights? Medical rights? That's not my job. But guess what? Somebody wasn't doing theirs. So we did it for them. And when they told us that they couldn't change it, we changed it! We got behind our legislator and we changed it. And the Louisiana Senate passed our law unanimously on a bipartisan basis. Because if you get big enough and you get loud enough, they can't fight it. It doesn't matter what their affiliation is. 
because liberty conquers all. So we went from 2019 seeing Facebook posts of people upset about getting a citation over their four-wheeler to now we own our property, tried and true. They cannot come and tell us what color to paint our house. They cannot tell us what surface our driveway needs to be. The same thing needs to happen with your medical autonomy. 2020, they wanted to know are Americans ignorant enough to cover their face? Most of them were. Some of us were not. Now that they got that past you, they want to know if they can give you the shot. They want to make you take a shot. They want to make you make a medical decision. So we, I waited until they were almost at my door. We all did. We wait until they're all, guess what? They're at your door. Are you going to wait for them to hold you down and give you the shot? And you can't say that that's a theory, that that's a conspiracy. Look at Australia. They're being held down and they're giving the shot in their damn doorway. Don't let it happen in Louisiana. Don't take it. Let your representatives know, your school board know, your police jurors know that they're not doing their job and you're not going to take it. We changed the Louisiana state law. We started with five or six people. Five or six people. There are hundreds of thousands of people that are ready to get behind one of you and make it happen. Make it go away. Petition. Knock on those doors. Come to all these committee meetings. Start from the bottom up because they need to go from the top down. Well, one thing, and y'all can y'all can write this num this uh, this name down too, the Cato Alliance for Freedom. Look up House Bill six ninety seven. Look up Act two ninety four. That's our law. That's not some legislator's law. That's not a parish commissioner's law. That's my law. We sat down at a table with our legislator. We told him what ink to put on what paper, and he did it. And it passed because we wanted it to. And none of us are lawyers. We are all blue-collar workers. And we changed the law. Here's the great part about it. That law was established in 1954. So don't let anyone discourage you or intimidate you and say that's been around forever because guess what? The law that we changed had been around forever. Didn't make it right. And when they enforced it, we got it gone. That's right. Each and every one of you can do the same thing. And again, I can't express it enough. All you have to do is get in somebody's face. Get in front of their horseshoe. Get in their phone. Get in their inbox. Email them and let them know that they're doing a crappy job. Let them know what you want them to do. You're here now. You know what you want them to do. Get your people behind you and you can do the same thing that we did and we can do it statewide. Thank y'all so much. Good job.